Number 17. Determine the oxidation state of the elements and the compounds listed. None of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. Thank you for that piece of information. And we just have to find the oxidation states, aka the charges, of each element in AlOH3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little bigger here. So we have AlOH3. Okie dokie. So how do we do this? Well, there's a couple of different methods that we can do. Um, let's, let's, I guess let's just do the uh, crisscross method kind of idea here. Okay, so we've seen this time and time again where we had a element that had a charge and we had another element. I don't know what my dog is doing, but we're just going to keep rolling with it, <laughs> right? We had another element with a negative charge and they crisscrossed together, right? To tell me the compound was what it was, right? So we're going to now take those subscripts and actually crisscross them back up to find out what the charges were. And remember, the charges are the oxidation states. So I'm just gonna say that for aluminum, I had one of these. And you guys should spot something out here, right? Look at this, this is OH, right? We've seen this time and time again. OH is a polyatomic. So I'm going to crisscross these two numbers to get the charges, let's see. So. This, so hold on, let's see. So this one will crisscross and tell me that the polyatomic OH has a negative one charge. And this three would crisscross, whoa. This three will crisscross up. Whoop. To tell me that the aluminum was a plus three charge. So that kind of separates a little bit. We have aluminum as a plus three, and now we have the polyatomic OH being a minus one total. Now, does this aluminum match up with what the oxidation states tell me? Well, yeah, aluminum's over here, and it looks like it's in group 13 or 3A, it's a plus three, so this checks out. We found one of them. Now for the OH. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways, right? If you wanted to do it algebraically, you can. But if they told us a little piece of information, they said that none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. So that means that if they're not those, oxygen will always have a negative 2 charge or oxidation state, okay? So I already know what oxygen is. If it's not a peroxide or a superoxide, I know that oxygen would have an oxidation state of negative two. It would be a negative two up here. And hydrogen, since it's only bound now with just an oxygen, it's a non-metal, hydrogen would have a plus one charge. Now, does this make sense? I have a negative two combining with a plus one. I have a negative two combining, literally adding, with a plus one, and that gives me the total charge of negative one. Does that make sense? Yeah, right? Negative two plus one is a negative one. So that checks out. So in this case, we didn't really have to do too much. We just had to basically break them up and we found the oxidation states. It was a little easy because they did tell us this information. So I'm just going to say that aluminum was a plus three, oxygen was a negative two, and hydrogen was a plus one. These are all of your oxidation states. You could also um, check this out on our chart here, but hydrogen's up here, right? It's a plus one. And then oxygen's over here, it's a negative two. <laughs> Aluminum being a plus three just means that you lost three electrons. Each aluminum lost three electrons. The plus actually means you lost because electrons are negative. So if you are more positive, you lose negative numbers. Oxygen being a negative two means that you gained two electrons. You're more negative, so you gained electrons. And then the hydrogen, you lost one electron. 
So that's basically what these uh, charges are actually telling you, these oxidation states. Okay? But other than that, this is the answer. So, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I love helping you guys out, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.